Okay, same, I'm gonna say the same thing I always do. Pause and read the question. Try this on your own. Just pause me, try the whole thing on your own, and then come back and watch. I hope you did that. All right, so we got Bob and Dave. So they start together, but at some moment, Bob is going up, he's going north, Dave's going east. So I'm going to say after some amount of time, Bob is up here and he's moving north. So maybe we'll call this distance here, Bob's distance from the origin y, that would make sense then. Then dy dt, how quickly his y is changing is three meters per second. And at that time, Dave is over here somewhere and he's moving east. And his x is changing at a rate of two meters per second. I want to know how quickly is the distance between them changing. So maybe we'll call this R, the distance between them. So R, and we'll even write it as a function of T. R of T is the distance between Bob and Dave at time T, or after T seconds. Now, if I could... The whole point of related rates, if I could find this function, I would just take the derivative, plug in my time, and be done. If I could figure out r of t easily, then I would just do that. But related rates says, look, you don't have to go through all that work. Figure out any kind of relationship that has r in it. Write a formula that's got R in it. Take some derivatives. Hopefully, you know everything that you get in that derivative formula that you can just plug into and be done. Okay, so what is R here? Well, we got, got ourselves a right triangle here. R squared is X squared plus Y squared. Notice X, R, Y, they're all functions of time. And all I'm going to do is just take some derivatives. So take the derivative with respect to time. Take d dt. Don't use prime. I know I've said this in every video so far, but that's where mistakes happen. Forget about prime. Like if if I gave you this, if I said I don't know, y equals. 3x to the fifth, and I said take the derivative, then you would probably write this. And I'd say, well, I didn't tell you what variable to take the derivative with respect to. And you would go, oh, I just assumed x. Prime notation is terrible notation because it doesn't explicitly say what variable you took the derivative with respect to. So don't use prime. You're going to confuse yourself if you're using primes on related rate problems. The our independent variable here is t, time. So take the derivative of this guy with respect to t. He is a function of t. So that's some function being squared. And when I take his derivative with respect to time, that's chain rule. That would be twice, leave the function alone, times his derivative. This is all implicit differentiation. So the derivative of r squared with respect to t will be 2r dr dt. Derivative of x squared, 2x dx dt. Same with y. We get a 2y dy dt. And like... We can cancel out all these twos, just divide everybody by two, r, dr, dt. Equals 
x dx dt plus y dy dt. So now we have related the rates. That's why these are called related rates problems. I have a relationship between my rates of change. I want dr dt when? At a particular moment. When x, uh, no, when y is 15. Bob was going up. So look, I've got I've got three variables in here. I need this. I know I know dx dt that was given to me. That was two. I know dy dt that was three. I know the moment I'm talking about is when y equals fifteen. I'm going to need these two guys. This is who I want. That's what I'm after. I need that at that moment, and I need that at that moment. So I need x when y equals 15. And I need r when y equals 15. Okay. Now, there are some really complicated ways we could do this. The easiest way, I think, is let's just figure out the time. So, how long would it take him to get 15? He's going three meters per second. I know that time. That's going to be five seconds. So that's my time. I actually do, in this case, find the time. Sometimes you do. You don't have to. And there are probably ways we could do this one without finding that time. But here it's pretty easy. He's going three meters per second. He's going 15 meters. That took five seconds. So X, Dave down here, he was going two meters per second. X of five is going to be 10 meters. Because he's going two meters per second for five seconds. What about R? What's R of five? Well, I know Pythagorean. That will be square root of 10 squared plus 15 squared. All right, so finding R at that moment, we get up 18.03. Okay, so now filling everything in, 18.03 times the thing I'm after, dr dt, will equal x 10 times dx dt plus y at that moment, 15 times dy dt. So what do we get here? That's 20 plus 45. I think that's 65. So dr dt will be 45 over 18.03. And again, let's get the calculator out. I'm just going to do 45 divided by that answer. Oh, and I'm lying to you. I'm lying to you. That's 65. That was 45 plus 20. 65 divided by that answer. Three point six. So that's about 3.6, uh, what were my units? Meters per second. R was measured in meters, time was measured in seconds. So just to recap, these guys are getting further and further away from each other. At the moment when Bob is at 15 meters, he's way up here, 15 meters, at that particular moment, the distance between these two guys is changing at a rate of 3.6 meters per second. That's a good place to stop.